About one in 14 people around the world live on populated river deltas that are under threat, just like the Mississippi Delta. It's a global multi-trillion dollar threat. Coastal Louisiana is facing some of the highest relative sea level rise rates in the world. I'm a professor in the Department of Geology and Geophysics, and I hold the Harrison Chair in Sedimentary Geology. And I am the co-director for the Mississippi River Delta Transition Initiative, which we abbreviate to uh, Miss Delta. And the very specific objectives for this is to determine what the future holds for the geomorphic landmass that constitutes the bird's foot under our present management strategies for the river. The river retreating northward and the submarine portions of the delta also retreating northward uh, together paints a picture of a system that is changing in a way that's really not good for navigation. It's not good for maintaining the communities on the bird's foot. It presents some challenges and a lot of unanswered questions. Our work of predicting the future of the bird's foot delta will give community members a realistic look of what their home will look like over future generations. And seafloor stability is very important to understand why is it moving. And so if we can understand seafloor stability, the, uh, the factors are what's making it move, we can understand why it would collapse, how fast it would collapse. So we retrieve cores on the boat. We do three different types of cores. Multi-cores are short and sweet, and then gravity cores are wide, and then pretty long up to maybe two meters, and then piston cores can be up to nine meters and they're narrower. We can see what's happening now, but we can also look into the past. Some of our cores represent 150 years worth of sediment accumulation. And so I think that will be really important and useful data to modelers as they work to predict the future. They were showing us how the, how the sedimentation altered in terms of like clay and sand and mud. And I, I felt like it was really cool to see that, that stratification. Dirt speaks history. Right, you're not just studying dirt, you're studying what was in that dirt tens of thousands, millions of years ago. Freshmen have the opportunity to do research, which is, I think, pretty rare. It's really shown me that I can do research, that it's definitely in my future, and that it's what I'm passionate about. It's very exciting work, and it's gonna be really meaningful, and it's going to have a combination of direct and some indirect insights that can be applied to other river deltas around the world. If I could be a part of a team that could save my home, uh, that's just awesome.